Welcome everyone to my channel, Cruise Racing 169. Uh, my name's Nate, and today I'm going to bring to you ECX Temper Gen 2 stock tire free modification. Um, previously, I released a video of some crawling in the snow with my Pitbull tire upgrade, along with my Boom Racing aluminum beadlocks 1.9. Uh, overall, I was really impressed with the tires that I put on there. Uh, I was dealing with the cold and the snow, but I'm really excited to uh, try it all out in a few weeks on a dry crawl. And um, also, I'll be releasing a video prior to that with my electronics upgrade. Just waiting for my receiver to come in and uh, also my battery leads slash ESC. Um, all right. Let's dig in. Okay, so you're gonna have for um, tools. I got myself a silver sharpie, uh, small electronics side cutters. They're older. They're really really sharp. You're gonna want to, like I said earlier, you're gonna want a sh sharp set of side cutters. And uh, if you notice, this is your stock tires. Okay, uh, it's like a radial tire. And a lot of it um, down the middle is what you're going to grab. Overall, I mean, your whole tire gets used. But if you notice in the middle of your tire, there's all these thick lugs. And these are kind of a designed by ECX for uh, multi-trail and rock crawling tires. What we're going to achieve is trying to break up these big lugs so they act like a claw for when you're climbing you can uh, you'll as they spin they grab and what you're gonna do is take your sharpie <clears throat> and you're going to basically you want to create that claw if you look there's a claw here and there's claw here but there's nothing like right here per se or vice versa so what we're gonna do is we're literally going to be bringing in some claws here okay um, what this is doing is making it non-directional and you'll see why so just take your sharpie you want to go around and I personally oh my sharpies getting dried up I got a good spot right there you can go around and do this so that you don't mess up on your cutting because once you cut it you're done you know you're, you're committed um, you just go around the whole entire tire until you get both sides until you get it labeled all the way around how you're going to be cutting it. Just so you know, there's 30 lugs on this whole entire tire that we're going to be cutting right now. So go around and mark all these. You got all these marked. I had to change my colors. My other marker um, dried up. It's hard to see, but I got marks there. Uh, and then you're going to take your you're going to take your side cutters and you're going to come in there okay so so what we did or what I did is I created an L because you're trying to simulate you're trying to create another one of these but the other way right here you know so you're trying to make another L so you're gonna take your side cutters make sure you use this side towards what you what you want to stay there for a tire just kind of squeeze the tire a little bit come in there and just do snip and then come in here create that L or angle whatever you call it. There's two. Flip it around again. You're gonna put the the other side down against the material you want to save. Snip and then snip. If you get in there, and and both those intersect, um, you'll end up with it like looking like this. Pull this away, and you got a little bit of material there again. Using that back side, just grab it, and then they'll snip it. Okay, so you created an L there. Do not, do not cut into this main portion of the tire because then you'll tear it, or you want to you want to leave some material there. You don't want to ruin your tire. So you're gonna go around and you're gonna cut all these. Again, just squeeze it a little bit. Come in there, snip, just like that. And I go, I push a little bit, and then again, I push a little bit. I don't go past the, I don't go into the rubber, I want to stay there. 
because you don't want to make it so that they tear off. And if you if you cut it good, you can just rip them off. So that's what you're going to do all the way around. Okay. Last one. So nice once you get them all cut. It's a little bit of work. Set aside probably, you know, some time of your day. That one I made it straight. I didn't get the L quite nicely like I like. Okay, so <clears throat> now these are non-directional. You can spin this either way and it's doing the same. So here's the outside, this is the outside of the wheel and uh, truck's moving forward. They're all grabbing the same way in the closet. They're non-directional right now. But uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, here's one that I've already done, is um, you're taking it and you're making it a, a directional wheel. Okay, and again, you're trying to open this up a little bit more so that there's a little bit more space in there for, for any imperfections in every surface. You know, everything's not smooth, plywood, whatever, flat surface. So you want to grab a little bit so you get some uh, side grabbing too. You know, if you're doing some, some, some side angle, whatever, and you're coming forward, you want some gripping there too. Uh, so this is turning into directional. So what I did is I marked it. I put a, uh, an arrow on it. And you take, line your wheels up here, so outside, outside, <clears throat> outside, and outside, right? Okay, and then, and then come in here and put your arrows, because you're coming, you're, here's the front, here's the back, directional, you're going to make your directional so that all these are going to spin this way, that's what directional means. And then, you're going to come in there, and, uh, so I'm going to put my arrow on there. I want this one to go, uh, if it works on the tire, do it on the tire too. You want directional. And then you want to come in there. You want to remove this surface. So here's the one that you cut, and there's the one that you cut. Okay? So there's the, there's the two that you cut. So we're going to come in here. We're just going to put a mark right there. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay? Okay? So I got two tires done, uh, I'll do the other two off camera, and then again, make sure you got your tires so that you got directional, and then these ones are going to be like this, and then when you put them on your truck, make sure that, an easy way to remember, let's say your arrows fell off, okay, you're only going to be snipping this side of this lug, you're not touching this side. Thanks for watching the video on doing this free modification to your ECX Temper Gen 2 tires. Uh, upcoming video, like I mentioned earlier, will have my electronics upgrades um, and then my running video after my upgrades will be, uh, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with updated um, electronics. I'll run my Pitbull tires with my beadlocks and then these stock ECX tires with the modification that we just did today. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe so that you don't miss any uh, upcoming upgrades or content that I got. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. And go out and have some fun with some RCs and uh, enjoy the hobby and keep building.